Okay, three, two, no, no, one. No. Here it goes. All right, so guys, we have had these two things in our lives for a long time. Uh, Stefan, share where these came from. I'm not exactly sure where this came from, but I think it came from one of our Tiny Whoop friends. Yeah. Uh, secondly, this big guy came from our friends over at The King of Random. If you've never seen them or heard of them, go check them out on YouTube. We'll have a link down below. They have done a bunch of stuff with a bunch of crazy things, and they sent this giant piece of fruit by the foot exactly. uh, to us so that we could have fun dropping it out of some crazy airplane. And so that is the story behind these two giant balls. And it's been a long time since we dropped big sketchy things. This rubber band ball is getting worse and worse every <laughs> month. I'm thinking if we have a five pound rubber band ball, we have a 10 pound fruit by the foot, we need to go somewhere in the middle and ramp this up. Yes. I'm thinking a bowling ball. Bowling ball sounds like a fantastic idea. Perfect. So here's the plan, guys. We are going to make the C-47 look awesome. We gotta build a Bombay mechanism. And I think based on your guys' feedback, we need to make Stefan now the bombardier. So instead of one person flying, one person dropping, <laughs> uh, which worked pretty good in the ME-262, we need to get more accurate. Let's build him a bomb site. Yeah, yeah, let's see what we can oh. do to get it done. Fantastic. That sounds great. You wanna get us a bowling ball? I will, I will do by my very best. Perfect. We got some building, painting, and fabricating to do. Let's get it done. Now before we put the landing gear or any other components on, we need to give this an awesome paint job. Now this is probably one of the easiest to paint airplanes because it's basically green and then white and black invasion stripes. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna scuff it up really good. We're gonna mask off the areas that we need to. We're gonna give a nice shot of white primer. We're gonna let that dry. And then we're gonna come back with our olive drab and give it its final paint job. After the paint is fully dried, we're gonna come back with our invasion stripes on the decals and we're also gonna be adding on our roundels. Now this is incredible because you designed a landing gear for this because we can't just hand launch something with a big old rubber band ball down below it. Yeah, um, we got busy on the 3D printer. We made a scaled version and then, um, yeah, we're doing a bomb drop. So I had to make a taller version to make room underneath for yeah, even whatever a, we're dropping. Even the taller version looks really scale. And uh, the neat thing is, is we have our 4.25 inch wheels. That's the scale size for this model here. Yeah. So what's the next step? Um, we've got this all put together. Um, this will be the finished one for the bomb drop version, so it'll be a little bit taller. You gotta paint it up and uh, finish getting mounted in the wings. And Man, we're on the bomb stretch. Next step after this, bomb drop, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Fantastic. Can't wait. All right, so we're at the point now here. Uh, Dave, your landing gear looks amazing. Thank you. It turned out really, really well. Yeah, yeah it does. It looks really nice. We're going to be putting out free STLs when all this is done, so when you guys go ahead and build one of these kits, you'll be able to take those STLs and download it and make a really nice scan of landing gear. I think it'll be removable too, right? Yes, yes. That'd uh, be awesome. Uh, in the meantime, what we have is we got to make this bomb drop. And one thing to think about is not just the weight you're carrying, but also something called G-force. Anytime you have 1G, 2G, 3G, you're multiplying the weight times that. So this guy right here from our friends at King of Random, that weighs 10 pounds. If we have G-forces from maybe like, you know, pitching up sharply and stuff, this 10 pound weight can go to one, two Gs really, really quickly, which means it doesn't weigh 10 pounds. It weighs 20, 20 25, keeps on going up. We're gonna have to fly really, really smooth. This is our little tiny uh, bomb release mechanism. And the way it works here is it doesn't support, the servo doesn't have to handle the whole load of the, uh, of the actual pin. Yeah, it just has a little pin that goes through two pieces of plywood with a servo connector to it. Yeah. What we're gonna do right now here is we're not gonna test it with this guy. We're gonna go ahead and pick up the pint, which is about 25 pounds on the button here, and then see if we can drop that. And if we can, that means that this guy should be just fine as long as we fly smooth. Yeah, not like hold up. Yeah. If that servo does not blow into pieces, I'll be amazed. All right. Ready? Yeah, whenever you are. Nope. Nope, not gonna happen. <laughs> All okay. right. So we gotta come that's up with a, a lot of weight. Yeah, that's a whole lot of weight. We gotta come up with a different weight. Again, this could possibly work with 10 pounds all day long, but we gotta think about if we're pulling, you know, some high G's and stuff, we gotta fix that. So let's go ahead, re-engineer another one. I don't know if you ever saw, but did you ever see the, uh, when we dropped a watermelon with 12 pounds on it? Yes. We can mimic that bomb drop real easy. Okay. So, and then we'll do the same test. Awesome. Let's do it. Okay, so we tried to uh, do our normal bomb drops and the stuff we're trying to do is too heavy. It was stressing out the servo and um, we came up with a new design where it puts a little bit more fulcrum with a lever that Andrus's bomb drop actually releases. Uh, we're gonna give it a shot here and see what happens. Okay. 
Wow, that is heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked. Hello. We should be in business. Let's go drop something. Terrible, right? Of course, it's between two of us, huh? That has some definite weight on it. That is fantastic. Oh, is it? oh wait, we have a 10,000 milliamp, so we yeah, gotta make it happen. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh. <laughs> we got our 10,000 milliamp tattoo right there. Oh boy. There's a reality check there. Picking that up. That is very heavy. I'm glad you're flying. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> we got three different weights again. We have the rubber band ball that's five pounds. We have the bowling ball that we got to get, but I think that's either 6.5 or eight pounds. And then the fruit by the football is 10 pounds. So we're going to learn a lot with the very first one, which is rubber band ball. And we'll be stepping up, so. <laughs> All right. We're pretty much FPV and it's ready to go. All right, so while they're working on this crazy C47 bomb drop mechanism, I'm gonna tell you about today's sponsor of this episode, and that is our friends over at Bespoke Post. So if you've never heard of Bespoke Post, they're a monthly membership club that offers top shelf goods from under the radar brands from all across the country. Every month, you're gonna be introduced to some cool new products. Now that might be outdoor gear, barware, home and kitchen goods, clothing, and much, much more. And it's all based on a preference quiz that you fill out. And the box lineup is constantly changing each and every month. So you get a new flavor kind of every month to choose from. Also, every box has about $70 worth of value to it. And you only have to pay 45, which is pretty awesome. And one of the things I like most about Bespoke Post is that you can preview your box before it's shipped to decide if first and foremost, you wanna keep it or you wanna swap it out for a different box and or third option, skip the month entirely for no charge because you only pay for what you want. Now something cool of note is that Bespoke Post during the pandemic actually purchased over $47 million worth of product just from small businesses. Now I wanna show you the unboxing experience real quick. So you get a little card that gives you what kind of box it is. This is the retreat box. It also gives you a little bit of info on what's in the box. In the box is on the go hammock and on the go blanket. So you've got your hammock right here, which is really awesome, nicely put into a pouch, which is awesome. And then you also have a to-go blanket that is super sweet um, that you can open up and it's you, you can zip it up, right? Lay it out flat and chill and have a good time sitting on your blanket or laying in your hammock, which is awesome. So really love the retreat box. All right, so our second box is the Weekender box, right? A little larger box as you can see here. Still get the card, which is cool, tells you what it is. This is a little bit different type of style box because this is a bag, right? So um, I really like it because it looks awesome. Uh, it's like a canvas style bag, which is legit. I would take this on vacation. I would take this uh, on trips with the family. So obviously we love things that are unique. We love things that are practical and Bespoke Post really has all of those kinds of things in their lineup for those subscription boxes. All right, so to get your very own Bespoke Post box, make sure you go into the link in the description or go to bspk.me slash flight test and grab a box, check it out, and at checkout, you're gonna put in the coupon code FLIGHTTEST20 to get 20% off of your first box, which is pretty amazing. So again, go to the link in the description, check it out, type in FLIGHTTEST20 at checkout to get 20% off your first box. And once again, huge thanks to Bespoke Post for making this content possible. We love their boxes, we love their stuff, we love what they stand for. So go check them out, give them some love. And thanks to you guys for watching. Now I'm gonna get back to these guys to see what they're doing with this crazy bomb drive. Let's go. All right, everybody. We got our replacement for our bowling ball. <laughs> you do would have thought a bowling ball would be the impossible task. It is, uh, you can't find bowling balls on a moment's notice. It's just they don't have them. No. So what we're going to do, our good friends over at Dick's Sporting Goods, <laughs> not the sponsor of this video, uh, we found a good old medicine ball, six pounds, okay. which is what you uh, had requested. Yeah. So here I bequeath this to you, sir. I love it. I love it. <laughs> that's, that's responsible. Yes. And still still scary enough to be fun. So there's stuff inside this that will probably come out of it, right? Possibly, okay, yes. Cool. And if this breaks, that's all going caboose. So here's the thing. If you guys like this episode, make sure in the comments below, what we'll do is we'll revisit the bowling ball 
and we will drop maybe multiple weights of bowling balls. Yes. Hey, while you're gone, we kind of re-thought about the whole bullseye thing with the golf green in the back. Yes. If something delays and goes even just a couple seconds longer, there is a road Yes. Beyond that. That's there is not a road. Cool. That's, that's, not that's a bad so idea, yes. Dave uh, went down and he actually mowed a bullseye for us. Oh, very there cool. So we, <laughs> we have our first ever Edgewater mowed bullseye. We're gonna manicure this, groom it. I think it's gonna become a permanent fixture. That's awesome. So, and it looks fantastic from that's here. That's awesome, so. I can't wait to see it, dude. Right. That's gonna be great. We have everything we need. Let's drop stuff. Get it. <laughs> we are ready to go. Five pound rubber band ball inside a big sketchy C47 with way too many cameras. <laughs> that's true. I mean, something happened. It's going to be covered five ways inside. That's, it. that's right. 100% the case. Are we all ready? I'm ready all to. Right. So we got TJ behind me from Buddy RC and Ohio Model Products. Give him some love. He's going to be doing our chase footage along with my youngest son, Michael. Uh, where's Michael at? He's there's over there. Michael. They're both fine. Okay, so. And now we're here at EcoFlow Runway. We're at EcoFlow having a Runway. Blast. Wait till you hear about what EcoFlow is going to be doing to this runway. It's going to be awesome. Good sick. All right, I'm stalling. We only have like a finite amount of time. You guys ready? For this? <laughs> you ready? Let's do this. I'm nervous, buddy. All right, I'm going to put the goggles on. All right, yeah, I'm going to take Actually, off I'm the goggles. Because I want to see you take off. Okay. You guys ready? Yes, sir. Are you, you, you sure? Count down? In three, two, one. Onward and upward, Jay Biggs. Yep, 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 yep. Get off the ground. You know, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Good she, job. She did all of that runway, which is awesome. Wow, okay, trimming her out. She flies great, but boy <laughs> is she heavy already with five pounds on it. Oh my goodness, look at what, I wish everybody could see this view. All right. Oh my goodness. What? Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, Stefan, make me proud, buddy. All right, this is this is a crazy. I'm I'm gonna get sick right now. This Look at that bullseye. I can't see anything at the moment. All right, I'm gonna line up the best I can. All right, do you want to go one more one more pass around? No, we gotta get it now. Can you see it? Yep. And going. Three, two, one, boom. Whoa. There it goes. Where am I at? There it goes. There it goes. Oh, oh, my. oh my. I wasn't hit it! Did you hit it? No, it was just fast. Are you oh, serious? Oh my gosh! It's it's oh, no, dude, you don't understand right now. Yeah, it is at ready made run a ready board runway. <laughs> <laughs> it bounced all the way to ready board runway. 30 feet. That was insane. Oh my gosh. By the way, these crosshair scenario is awesome. What do you think the drivers going down the road are thinking right now? That's a great question. They probably <laughs> think it's a real plane. You came right. in close So there. one thing I, I can tell you right now, we got to adjust that CG. I was almost pinned all the way up the whole entire time I was flying. Did you notice that too? How much, yeah. you're like yeah. all the way back? So we got to definitely adjust that CG a little bit. Yeah. But wow! That was insane. Okay, how, how far off were we? So how, I don't know how far off we I, were. I'd say a good probably 40 feet. <laughs> all right, so one successful drop down. This is probably the closest we've ever got. First time with the bottom Boom. here. Let's go. Let's do it again. Dave? You did awesome with that. Thank you. Well done, sir. Are we ready, guys? Think All so. Right. Round two. So we got we got the old medicine ball, the six pound medicine six ball. Pound, I think it's eight pound. I, I, I felt it. It felt heavier than six pounds. And we got one gnarly crosswind. Guys, this is gonna be fun. Are you guys all ready? I am ready, sir. All I right. got my, my finger on the switch when we're ready. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's get her in the air. Have your ball. Have your plane. Oh! Oh! Oh, 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 oh yes! Yeah! <laughs> it popped up off the little the little hip, the hill or whatever there. And I eat the green gush. Dang. How's it feel? Do you feel better? Much better. Yes. Yes. I am right. I am very, very garbly cooked. I'm going under cooked. the hood. Oh. oh. We're okay. I I'm lagging a little bit. I am lagging big time. I got a little bit of lag. All right, Stefan. I don't know this where is, we're at. Smoke screen. I see the bullseye, Stefan. I'm gonna go ahead and cheat here. Okay. Into the wind a little bit. Can you see? Yep. All right. Here we go. In. Left. Left a little. Left. Left. Three, two, left. one, and drop bag. I heard it. Where's it going? Oh, that's too early. Way too close. <laughs> that was way too close. A little too early. Little but we're getting early. closer. Yes, yes. We're getting, now I've got it all on lock. All right, Dave, here, just to be on the safe side, let me get you leveled out here. You good? Gotcha. 
That that's was a nice much, dud, much better. Where'd it land? Right there. Oh, well, about, that's not terrible. No, we're getting closer every single time here. Oh, like a boss. Oh, oh, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it goes to wind came right at the end. <laughs> He's down! That's land ever! That was like that touch! Yeah! Touch the end! <laughs> and it didn't come down hard, it's just like, ah. That's... Let's do it again, I don't think anything's damaged. Yeah. Up next, around. 10 pound, fruit by the foot, roll up ball from our friends over at t -Core. It's gonna be awesome. We know what too long looks like, we know what too short looks like. Yeah. I feel really confident with this one. Super confident. It's gonna happen. Come happen. All right. You guys ready? Oh yep. my goodness. Everybody be careful on this one. So yeah. let's just put it let's just put it this way, Josh. You've added four pounds. Yeah. Which how much does the plane weigh by itself without about the same weight as the ball? Yeah. So that's that's what almost oh. half yeah. of the weight of the plane you've added yeah. on this last round. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, let's that's just see 40. if we get off the ground. That'll be a win. And then we'll take one step at a time. And don't you like how the wind has pretty much died down for yeah, this? Thank you, wind. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> you guys ready? Oh, let's do this. All right. Three. Two, here we go, Dave. One, here we go. get in the air, you little plane. Get in the air, you little plane. Oh, oh, yes. oh, oh, we got yeah. it. We got it. <laughs> All right, man, you got it. Boy, oh boy. All right. Ooh, yeah, yeah, that is flying heavy. She is sketchy. All right, I'm gonna go under the hood. I'm under Good. the hood. All right, Dave, get by me here, buddy. Yeah, I'm coming around. This All side. right, right. <laughs> sir. We're giving us all she's got. I don't even know where we're at right now. I see now there's the road, right? Yep. Oh. 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 Well, I hear everybody go. Ooh. There. All right, I'm going to crab in just to keep farther away from you guys. Step I'm turning towards us now. Oh, there it is. Okay, three, two, one. There it goes. Are we safe? We're good. We're good. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Look at that, bro, right there on the edge. Oh my God, yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right. We buddy. should, once we land this, we should go check and see where that's at. We got to, yes. I'm pretty sure that's right on the edge. You want to bring it down, Dave? Yeah, I'll bring it down. Oh, <laughs> great Let's go, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh my wow. gosh. How did it feel up there? You, it, you look crazy up there, by the way. You know, you swing the ball around, and it's a crazy thing, because the momentum of the ball is throwing you all like over. Like a pendulum? It was nuts. It doesn't want to come down, no, does it? It doesn't. Oh, like a boss, Dave. Yeah! Nice yeah. work! Let's go! Oh, you win! <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's only one left to do. Yeah. We gotta go check and see where I'm balling. Yeah. Look at that! It's half the fruit by the foot it used to be. <laughs> That's what oh, I thought. That I thought that's it's a big reveal. <laughs> you ready? I don't know what's underneath. Let's gather around here. This could be fun. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> Dave, can you build us a wooden case for this? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at it's a confetti in there. I wonder if how it tastes. <laughs> that is. <laughs> That's a and this is a hard ground too. Yes. That decided it wanted to go in. Right. That's awesome. Well, right. so friends, thanks for being part of the flight test family. Do us a favor. We love dropping stuff. We have a big awesome bullseye. We're gonna continue to improve. Leave in your comments down below what you want to see us drop from crazy altitudes to make crazy dents in our golf course. Huge thanks to the King of Random for sending us this awesome giant fruit by the football that inspired this content. And hey, see you in the next one. See you next time.